and welcome back. Um, so today I thought I would do a follow-on video to my uh, Space Hawk video that I did a few weeks back and um, I really enjoyed play, painting the Blood Angels in that set. Um, so I've decided to um, create a small um, Blood Angel uh, force um, based around or central around the, the Terminator squads um, in that Space Hawk box set. So the first thing I decided to do was um, paint this captain here um, to be the, the leader of the force. Um, so very good with the um, the lore of bits and pieces of, of Blood Angels and bits and pieces. So um, this is the Blood Angel captain that comes um, in the shield of ball box set that came out quite a few years back uh, and it's been sitting on my desk as a grey plastic for a very long time um, so I really enjoyed painting the blood angels um, so I decided to paint this guy up as well in the same style as those um, which works out really well and they look um, yeah it came out really well really on the colours and bits and pieces on those there um, I decided to um, basin slightly different um, because the basin on the Space Hulk models they have um, sort of metal plates um, uh, sort of formed in, 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 into their um, into their feet sort of thing so it's uh, very difficult to actually put a basin uh, style together so um, I thought with the, the other models I would put together for this also I would always come up with a different basin style so I've decided to base this one um, in a sort of sandy style um, because um, because they're from Baal I thought it's, it's very much just like a sort of um, desert style planet so I'll sort of sort of give it a desert style um, terrain really so it's basically um, so much of a, a sort of sandy sandy base style really for for the um, for the model there so just just basically a quick look. Um, at the space marine captain that goes um, in that oh, that will be leading my force on there as well pretty simple um, paint job on those on there but I think it came out really well um, the red comes out really well as well so I wanted to show you guys that first um, so what I've decided to do is put a few more squads and stuff together to go with that force it won't be a massive force but it'll be a, a reasonable size force um, the next thing that I was going to get that I've decided to put together is I've um, got hold of this as well which is the um, Blood Angel um, Assault Squad Terminator, uh, Assault Terminator Squad um, which um, I've got together which which are obviously a, a very um, ornamented uh, Terminator Squad which would fit very well um, I've decided to maybe do them all as Thunderhammer Terminators so very similar to what you're seeing on the front there um, so th there'll be another squad of Terminators to go with the force and basically um, yeah so it'll be a decent bit of pieces there so what I'm going to do now is do like a, a quick unboxing video really um, just to show you the contents of what you can actually get inside that box um, and, and what I'm thinking of doing them before I sort of um, go ahead and paint them so um, I'll pause the video now and then we come back and have a quick look thanks guys Hi and welcome back. Um, so I've um, op I've opened the box um, so we can have a quick look inside. Um, you get basically you get two sprues, um, the instruction guide, and a few bases and bits and pieces like that as as, as you would you would uh, expect to get on those. Um, very well detailed um, plastic, uh, decent bits and pieces kicking around on those. Um, so basically what you get you get um yeah you get your your, your bodies um kicking around on the sprues there so this first sprue you get um three three bodies on there um what you'll notice from um 
this terminator sprue compared to other terminator sprues is that the the top part of the body um here um is connected to the legs um it's only the um the, the back bit that is connected to the legs um so i'll just turn it around there you can see there um and what they've done basically so they've connected those uh, back bits to the legs which aren't normally connected on terminators and what they've done is then they've um, basically done the the front section and the helmet um, as a complete mold um, which is quite cool it sort of saves space on the sprues I suppose um, gives you less possibility of the terminator probably um, by doing that but I, I, I don't mind it's quite a quite a decent um, uh, decent thing anyway so basically um, yeah so you get so some front parts of the body there and so on uh, this first sprue has got a couple of lightning claws uh, kicking on there and then also if I you know, adjust this slightly you can sort of see up in the top here um, you get some sh uh, storm shields kicking around there as well uh, which is quite good and then also um, yeah this one up in the top corner here this is the uh, storm shield for the sergeant also he's a lot bigger uh, than the others but the, the others are quite detailed as well I'll bring that slightly closer you can see what's going on there um, so yeah it's quite nice so that's that first sprue right down there and then the second sprue um, you can see obviously the main the main thing about the second sprue is uh, it's got a banner on there uh, and the two remaining um, bodies terminator bodies uh, and by looking at it this one here I think it's the the sergeant body there because it's got a bit more ornamentation on him compared to the others there so he's probably the sergeant model uh, so this one this second one's covered in uh, thunder hammers there's a few more um, lightning claws kicking around there as well um, a few sort of open head head options on there um, which is quite cool that's uh, sort of open helmet options quite cool uh, and then the sort of the tilting shields kick on there as well so they're quite cool uh, a few angel wings and ropes uh, the terminator um, homing beacon is on there as well and turn this round you can see the back uh, the bodies the terminators are pretty pretty simple uh, but the banner itself um, is a molded banner um, which is really cool so that'd be um, fun to um, paint I suppose <laughs> I don't know how fun it's gonna be um, but I'll have a go at doing that so um, yes that's really cool so i'm quite happy with this set really it's quite a decent set um probably won't have that many spares left on this um if i decide to do everything as thunder hammers then obviously i'll have a load of lightning claws um left over so so we shall see from there really what to do with those um yeah so the another reason of um showing you what you get in this set really um is that um, I wanted to show you the, the options and stuff that you get in the set which is quite nice uh, but I, what I also wanted to do is um, I wanted to experiment it with um, undercoating the sprue in one go um, before I put the models together so I'm going to take that out later today and spray it with a, a black undercoat um, before putting any models and stuff together because I, I, I I think there's lots of details on this and it would, it would appreciate it if I um, decided to put the, the undercoat on um, on the models uh, on the sprue rather than taking them all off and struggling bits and pieces on there so that was one of the reasons I wanted to show you the, the contents of this box as well uh, so um, I do have some other ideas for, for the blood angels as well uh, with the shield of bolt box set you also got um, a few additional things so you actually got a um, uh, some deaf company models so um, I've got quite a few deaf company models to put together which I'm currently painting uh, which will be interesting to see once once I get 
a squad of those together if I do a quick video on those uh, and there's also a uh, Def Company Dreadnought as well in that set so armies as armies go it's quite a decent force um, so there's not much additional stuff I need to go really with with that set so there will be um, some Def Company stuff uh, coming up on these videos in the future so um, thanks a lot guys for watching this video um, Please like and comment as you see fit on, on them as well. Uh, and if you enjoy my content, please uh, consider um, subscribing as well. So um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Uh, see you soon. Bye.